Hello, everybody. Gentle Beards here. Alex and Socks Clawtooth. What's going on? We're going to play some goddamn Kingdom Motherfucking Hearts. So, the way we're splitting this up is we're going to actually alternate on... For this one's characters. Yeah, the, for characters. Because this game is actually split up into three different storylines. So I'm super excited, you know, getting ready for that, of course. Finally, Kingdom Hearts 3 release. Fucking that we've waited... <sighs> our lives for <laughs> so i'm super pumped kid there are kids who came, who were born when kingdom hearts 2 came out who are now teenagers yeah there are kids younger who came out who were born a year or two or later from kingdom hearts 2's release that are now fucking teenagers but we want to play the games in chronological order as part as where the story takes place so we're starting with birth by sleep Fuck no, proud mode. We are doing proud mode, and that's it. I'm not going to fucking critical. That shit ain't gonna happen. Proud mode. Proud mode. Wait, proud, secret no. movie is extremely difficult, difficult to unlock. You have to, like, basically 100% of the game in beginner mode to get the goddamn secret movie. I mean, I would hope so, because beginner mode, it's literally you swing oh, it's your keyblade once, and, and it's everything like, dies. <laughs> proud uh, mode. Alright. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Don't give a shit. <laughs> I love my vibrate feature. Uh, I like to feel no, it my we skin. don't want to skip the introduction. No, no. we, we want to. We have to see it's the opening. It's the opening scenes, man. We have to see it. Okay. <laughs> um. So, socks here or Brandon, whatever you want to call him, bitch face with Krabby is gonna play Tara, who is the first character we'll be choosing. Ah uh, yes. Um. I think we're gonna all. Hi everybody, Alex here. So at this current time, we are experiencing a bit of a technical difficulty. I do apologize for the immediate drop of sound. Um, sadly, a couple things happened in this recording. Uh, first being that uh, the entirety of Kingdom Hearts got picked up through our voice recording mic, which is weird because the blood-curled rage screams of Kratos are apparently low enough to not get picked up where the entirety of everything that happens in Kingdom Hearts can be. Don't know why that works the way it does, but yeah, you know, do what you only can do. So, we have to lower our volume for the game, and we have to cut the audio we had because of the fact that the opening song for all Kingdom Hearts games is under some heavy copyright. Um, nothing against, of course, the creators. They're fantastic and everything. It's just something we have to do for YouTube purposes, which is no big deal at all. Due to this, though, you're going to miss out on our little bit of conversation for about you know, 2 minutes and 50 seconds. So I'm going to try to alleviate that with me kind of just doing a quick little run-through. So we discussed that our playthrough, which is going to be T Brandon playing as Terra, me and Brandon playing as Ven, alternating through that very long and arduous quest, and me playing as Aqua. Uh, we then talk about the opening cinematics and how beautiful they are no matter what, even on the PSP. Joked about the Game Boy Advance chain of memories having its opening cinematic being that equivalent of a KH1 cutscene. And then we um, talk about the marketing geniusness of having to buy so many consoles and handhelds to play the Kingdom Hearts series. Um, pretty much that's that kind of just sums up our entire conversation we have. Um, so, luckily there was nothing really that funny that you missed. I mean, you can say that about the entire series itself, to be honest, probably, but you know. So, the rest of the first nine episodes of Birth by Sleep are going to be a little more challenging in the audio. Due to how loud the mic was, if I left the volume like I normally would for most recordings, it would cause a lot of reverb with almost every sound in the game. The best way I could fix that was by lowering the actual game audio, so... The audio that's picked up on our mic is the primary. Due to this, there is some desync you guys will experience throughout the rest of these nine episodes. Luckily, there's not too many major cutscenes beyond the opening and a few others here and there. Luckily, there's a whole lot of gameplay, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. And I thank you guys so much for your patience and for still watching. I apologize so heavily for this inconvenience. It is something that we are still learning about, and we'll be better next time. Thank you. Installs and hit three. <laughs> and still hasn't hit three. But then on top of that, when we all thought we were gonna get three, oh here's two point five. Here's one point five. Now two point eight. Two point eight. Like I was like, uh, oh we, my god. I think fuck. we're all really expecting a two point nine. You are cock teasing me so hard. We're right expecting now. a two point nine. Oh dude. 
I I did. I didn't even think we'd get a release date on this. I was so skeptical for three's release date. Same. But God, if it doesn't look gorgeous, though. I wonder if three, they're going to talk more about that, like, right there. Like... Oh, absolutely. I wonder if we're ever actually going to... You know, for one, I wonder if we're ever going to see parents of Destiny Island, like Sora's mom, who he hasn't talked to in, like, fucking years. Dude, he <laughs> left that island and was like, you know what? Fuck, Fuck it. This like, <laughs> like, he went back, but did he ever go back to his actual house? Or did he stay on the, this little island? Because as we discover in, like, Kingdom Hearts 2, there's, there's, this is, like, a small island, and then there's the mainland where they all live. Yeah. This is not their home. But we're getting ahead of ourselves, because this is, like, well before that. God, and the voice acting. Rest in peace. Rip, little slug man. Leonard Nimoy. Great voice actor. Oh, absolutely. Did a great job. Oh, Super very, depressed very. that he's dead. Gonna really be interesting. As I haven't, I still haven't heard anyone, any of the voice work for three yet. I have not either. I don't think anybody has. Bollocks. I want to know how they, uh... I'm assuming, because, you know, most time when they an actor dies, they get someone who just can basically imitate the actor. Mm-hmm. I want to know how, I want to know, I want to hear how the voice is for it since, uh... Well, this game's also there. famous for that, I will say. Like, they actually get pretty good voice actors for the people that they can't necessarily, Fuck, like, have. you seen have. 3's cast? Them motherfuckers got people from the movies! Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. straight up from the fucking movies. Everyone from Frozen is voiced by their actual Frozen voice actors and actresses. Fucking Tangled's the same. Well, that's the dude. Thing, the thing they are this, fucking. Am- it's amazing. Back the before cast. when this game was the one and two series and stuff, a lot of like I, I know Mushu back in the day had to turn around and mm-hmm. get a vo- like a different voice actor to play him and uh, stuff. Only fucking person. But it was a really good actor. The only or, people or really who good, uh, mimic. Of yes, Eddie Murphy. Uh, the only people who actually had their original voice actors are the ones who James Woods. Baby. Yes, James Woods is Hades. Um, and then Final Fantasy characters, Cloud, Sephiroth, and I think that's it, had their voice actors from the Advent Children movie. It does not surprise me that James Wood took that shit, because I feel like James Wood at this point is just taking any you fucking many job he games can get. he's done at this point of Kingdom Hearts? He has done basically he, he, every single fucking one, because Hades is in well, every when, fucking one. When, when the fuck was the last time you saw James Wood in an, Woods in an actual movie? <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to IMDb. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta know. Now I'm interested. James Woods does nothing but voice acting now. Hold on. <laughs> We're finding this shit out. But, like, what is it? It's like him. But, I mean, think about it now. If they were to come to you and be like, hey, do you want to be a part of the biggest fucking game release of, like, the next, like, ten years? It's, it's going to be a big fucking release. This game has gotten fucking huge. So, also, for those who don't know anything about Kingdom Hearts and somehow stumbled across our videos to be the first thing you saw... Oh, All of this shit will be explained. Like, basically, the gist of what you need to know is that his heart was, like, fractured from something you'll find out about later on in this in the game itself. And someone basically helped heal his heart. And all that's pretty much explained by post this game. Yeah, end of Kingdom Hearts, like, 2-ish. Yeah, yeah. And a little... Oh God, is the fragmentary passage crap that part of it, too? The Aqua continuation, is that gonna have... Is that... No, it doesn't detail any of that. It's just Aqua stuff. Yeah, but I mean, even still, like... The... Ooh. Ouch. Um, Sorry about that one. Um, Even that, the fragmentary past is literally an ongoing theme over the course of the, like, t- fucking 12 games they've got released type stuff. God, that is gorgeous. Um... The one thing I will say... Which James Woods am I looking for? Because there's a shit ton of them on IMDb. <laughs> well, shit, IMDb. There's, there's James A. Woods. There's, oh, that's Jake Wood. James Wood and James Woods. So I'm assuming James... James Woods is, Not the A. Woods. That guy looks way too young. Yeah. That, James Woods. That also looks like a much older picture. Yeah, exa- it does. That's why I'm confused. On uh, Yep, yep. This is it. Hercules. 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 Mm. Okay, right. <laughs> you ever say? I also hate his keyblade. I just love how he just from the dead rises. Just <laughs> meh. Like. <laughs> so I, I also want to point out. I think Ven has one of my most hated keyblades in the series. I like the way he holds his keyblade, though. I will give him that because not too many people hold their keyblade backwards. 
I, 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 yes, that's very true. That is cool, but I also just hate the fucking oh, design. I do hate the design. Quite frankly, I don't like the design of Terra's Keyblade either. I think it's too clunky. I like his, uh. I like it the best of the three. Well, see, him and Aqua are, are special in their own way. They have Keyblades that they get, like, their post at the end of the game, right at the last level, that look like evolved versions of their already existing Keyblade. Yeah. And when they get those versions, I like those ones. Yeah. I like Terra's second one. I feel like the first one is just too short and stubby and makes it look so clunky. Because the one he gets, like, the very end of the game, it's, like, way bigger, has insanely good reach, and it looks like it's more fleshed out. Well, my issue is more so just the thickness of the fucking... It's a key blade, not a key stick. Like, you know, you, you I'm not st- trying to bludgeon their skulls in. Well, I mean, <laughs> fair enough, but that's kind of Terra's thing. I mean, that is I literally guess. his combat style. I guess. It's to bludgeon people to goddamn death. <laughs> Mind you, I also didn't even use that keyblade, because you got another fucking keyblade right at the same fucking time, basically... It was one of darkness, and it was badass looking, and it was the strongest keyblade you get until you get Ultima, like strength wise. And Terra's not a magic person, so I was like, "Why the fuck wouldn't I use this thing?" Yeah, it's got the best fucking reach, and it's fucking insane damage. Well, it's kind of like um, what is it? I really loved the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas keyblade in the other games because of the fact yes. that it had a longer reach. I than didn't any of the other care keyblades. for it in two. Then they incorporated the Christmas aspects to it. Yeah, no, not I that was one. I'm not talking a OG huge fan. Kingdom yes, Hearts OG one. one was dope. Yeah, I am real excited for Three's Keyblades. Also, Three's Keyblades level up. Yeah, see, I don't. That's I, gonna I don't be know cool. how that works. Like, is it gonna change how well, they look? It makes too? no. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna go that far. I don't think they're gonna go like take that much from like unchanged key. Woo, we're in. But uh, I think they're gonna do. Uh, some similar where they make it so keyblades are still useful because now it's not based off keyblade stats kind of it's based off their move sets and combos and what you like mm. which i think is really cool i thought that was a really cool premise because there's a lot of keyblades i wish i could still use but by like mid game to late game they're they absolute obsolete ass line. Yeah, yeah they're they're a fucking waste of space so I, i'm excited for that that's that's gonna be fucking dope i'm excited for that yeah. but um uh james woods in an actual movie um jamesy boy he was lieutenant mark fulton um he's been in some tv shows he was in white house down in 2013 he's in white house down yeah he's in white house down in 2013 jamesy boy in uh 2014 um and then from there he did a lot of animation uh then he was on uh, the tv show dice for two episodes and beyond that there's three entries of Kingdom Hearts from the re-releases. <laughs> <laughs> um, Family Guy. And Justice League Action, where he plays Lex Luthor. I can kind of see that. Yeah. I can see that. I think I remember that, like, as far as his voice acting in that one. Yeah, and his, most, his latest I, thing is Kingdom Hearts 3. Am I, I, I always forget whether I can just, like, move on from this. Um. I think I can. Because I think I just gotta go up here and that was it. Is that the right way? No, other way. I got time for a little longer. Did you do all the stuff I was in pain? I was just looking at my phone. Did you do your abilities and shit? Did you make that thing you spin? Yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Fuck you. I was hitting it before. I spun um, it, like, three times. Did you use your ability? I mean, not to initiate it, yeah, I did it, like, during it. Up, Man, oh, shut up. Get through the fucking tutorial. Eat shit. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. You're good. Okay. You said a lock on. No, I think we're done. We're done? Thank nope. God. Nope, now we go get that chest. Okay, we'll give it to this game, though. At least it's not a long, as long of a tutorial as cooking Kingdom Hearts 2 is. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 is literally three hours of two... I'm so used to Kingdom Hearts 4 controls. With the triangle nowadays? Yeah. yeah. So, I will say, for this game, the extra battles that are outside of the actual story, like the shit we have to go to the Mirage Arena, we're not going to do. At least not on camera. Yeah. If anything, we may come back later for a one-off where I've gotten us to the point. But as far as us actually doing that, that's not going to happen. The other Kingdom Hearts games, especially Kingdom Hearts 1, 2... And Dream Drop, because those are the only other ones that have extra shit. 
One and two will definitely do all the extra stuff, or at least attempt it. We'll do die, especially if we're playing on Prime, but we're going to die horrifically in two. Oh, yeah. Um, one of actually already got us kind of set up. I won't lie. We're ready to go for all that shit. <laughs> I've been, I kind of play that shit, so I have, uh, instead of us having to grind on camera, I have save points from where I got certain things. Oh, yeah. So we can just jump right in, dude. And be some ready of once the we secret get the end. bosses in one, like that was like. So here's my experience with games. Um, back then, around that time, secret bosses were either like, like the game either had a bunch of secret bosses or there were no secret bosses. Very in games true. Now and Kingdom that Hearts One jumped on Kingdom that. Kingdom Hearts that bad definitely wagon. jumped on that shit. Like they had some really cool ones, like the, the except for two, two original release only had one. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm talking Kingdom Hearts 1. Well, Kingdom Hearts 1 had, like, originally like five four. or six. Four in the original. There was... Five in the uh, re-release. What was it? There was, like, Kirk Ziza in Aladdin's World. Dog! Like, that shit was fucking hard. hell. He was hard. But I thought the hardest of them all, because I could not grasp the concept of what was going on, was the fucking, like, Banshee ghost Dude, thing from fucking, so, um... Fucking, that thing's a bitch. The ne Neverland or whatever? When I was a kid, I never beat any of the secret bosses. Like, I played the shit I, of the game, I, and it, I it didn't beat It took me so them. long to understand what the fuck was going on in that other fight, because I'd start to attack it, and I'm like, alright, cool. And then I'd run out of time and immediately die. So I, I couldn't played, understand I have to use that stop time thing. Yes. So I, when I played KH1 when I was a kid... Ah, uh, there's my edgelord! <laughs> and Skywalker of this universe. Yeah, basically, right? Um, fuck, when I played KH1, I actually got into it a little late because I saw, um, what was that fucking show called? They used to have it on a... Fuck, man, it was a long time ago. I can't remember what even the fucking show, the network was called. It was like that Geek TV network back in the day. And there was a show ba purely about video games back then, before, like, I remember All this shit that we G4. have now. That was fucking it. G four. Oh, okay. So I was watching that shit oh, dude, way G4 back then. Fucking great. Back that shit was awesome. Man. So back in the day, I saw a trailer for KH two. It was something that they didn't even have in KH two. Do you remember the trailer? You were you watching? Uh, what is it? Attack of the Show, or something like that? No, it was before that. It was. Uh, that was before Attack of the Show. It was like a chicken and dude. Yes, and their whole and they, thing was their about whole video thing games. was just reviewing video games yep. or like upcoming games, trailers, or... and all that stuff. Yes, that okay. show was dope. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it wasn't Attack of the Show. Yeah, but I remember they had a, a trailer. They showed the trailer though for Cage Two, and it was one of the trailers that had nothing to do with the actual game because they cut the whole fucking thing. And it was of Hollow Bastion and you going running around, smacking fucking uh, Organization Thirteen members. I was like, oh, that looks so fucking cool. And I was like, I need, I want to play it now. And I realized, and I was like, it was like, I think Christmas, my birthday was coming up. And I was like, I want Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Not knowing 2 wasn't out yet because I wasn't paying attention. I just saw the trailer and walked out. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got 1. And they're like, oh yeah, 2's not even out yet. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Well, whatever. So I played 1. Beat the shit out of it. Played the fuck out of it. Never, I didn't even make Ultima my first time playing through. Yeah. I Because I, I also didn't know who the fuck to hunt. Who I got the shit from to go fucking hunt that crap to make the materials. Ultima and 1 was definitely a grind fest because Dude, it was like to get those drops it's a bitch i i remember the early days uh it was me and what is now my ex-girlfriend and stuff like that but we were together and stuff and that was like our main goal was 100 percent in kingdom hearts and i was walking her through that process and we went as far as we had papers upon papers of just all right here's every like um, enemy, in, enemy in the game. Woo! What is their drop a chance of each thing and stuff? And had all of that set up so that we could turn around and get everything that we needed. Yes. So I, um, yeah, I came one. I didn't do any of that shit. I beat the game and I tried grinding. And by the time I was like getting into the grind to go beat the fucking extra bosses, Kingdom Hearts Two came out. And I just dropped that bitch like it was hot. Yeah. Yeah, I, I dropped that bitch like it was hot. Oops. You gotta block Ven's attacks. 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 I'm gonna say until you fucking start blocking Ven's attacks so we can move on from this scene. Because you can't hurt him until you block his goddamn God attacks. fucking damn it. How do I block? I don't even Square. know. Square! It told you! What, like, just like, hold? hold stand. Just stand and s touch it. Touch it. There, see? I fucking hate this game's fucking <laughs> mechanics. I want my old controls back. 
<laughs> we'll get there, and man. And the sad part is, is I know this is exactly how the fuck Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to play. Not really. It's it's not this exact system. It's going to be pretty cool. Only pretty thing that, the only thing that's, that's taking from this is uh, shot locks. And that's it. Right, when we play, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Aqua's extra story thing that they released on the 2.8, that's the closest to KH3 controls we got. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's the thing. I know that's going to be big, too. Yes. So, we'll see you guys next time. Oh, I don't even get to finish the tutorial before we have to cut. Okay. Nah, well, we're, we're in there. All right, fine. Fuck it.